So as you can see here, probe, as you can see here, he has a split type tear with some of the tendon, with some of his tendon still attached to the greater tuberosity. You put the anchor down into the greater tuberosity. You can see the humeral head right there. Okay. Now we passed one suture back through here. Now I'm going to show you a little trick where we can poke through the skin. <clears throat> 18 gauge needle. So we'll come over here, try to get an angle. And there you go. See where we're able to come right in there. So I just poke the, hand me that thing. Hand me a knife. Actually, hand me the 18 gauge needle again. We took it out too fast. Okay, hand me a knife. I'm gonna poke that skin. This skin's kind of tough, so we're gonna make just a little nick. Go ahead and, okay. To get that device in there. You can see it doesn't take much. There you have it. Okay, 18 gauge needle. We'll kind of do the same thing over here. It's going to give us a good line, knife, like a little nick. Pull on one. Pull that one. What would be your best support in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Hawaii? Uh, hand me the, uh, the bird beak again. Yeah, that's kind of a cheap spot. 
Hey, you know, that wrapping, uh, sure, that was easy and fun. And something you could do intoxicated, there was intoxicated. Yeah. Be a fun thing to do. Yeah. And provide that transportation to and from. Nightlife on 6th Street. Might not be so good in the summer, though. Yeah, that would be for really, late. Really, really, well, you kind of need it. You need school to be in, but, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, not tire. Hold the camera for me. Can I stand this way? Yeah, I think so. Finishing. What? Put their tails there up to me. Alan. Something weird. Oh, look at that. It's all back together again. Yay. Happy, happy cup. <laughs> it's a happy, 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 happy. You ever watch Duck Dynasty? Duck Dynasty? Yeah. You watch any reality TV shows? Uh, not that one. <laughs> uh oh. That was dangerous. We could have, but we didn't. Well, it's probably my favorite one on TV. And I bet you if you watched it, you would enjoy it. What is the premise? Um, the premise is, is it's this family in Louisiana who... It, no, no. <laughs> God, I, I can't deal... I haven't even... No, it's not Honey Boo Boo. No. It's essentially this family, really this one man, he started making these duck calls in Louisiana, handcrafted duck calls, and they've become the best duck calls in the world, okay? Uh -huh. And so they become millionaires making these duck calls. And it's a family-run business, and they all look like, the family looks like a bunch of ZZ Top guys. They all have big long beards. And it's kind of like the dad, the dad started with his trademark and now it's all the sons and they're obviously wealthy and they, and it's just them, you know, the, essentially like the grandfather, you know. So the one son that, that's the CEO, he's wealthy and lives kind of like in a, in a mansion, okay, grandpa, who, or, you know, dad, he just lives in his, like, normal house that he had, probably sitting on, you know, the only thing is he probably sits on, like, 500 acres of Louisiana yeah. swamp or something, you know, that's all managed. And, you know, and he's still into the, you know, they call themselves rednecks, and they're into the redneck way of life and, and you know, honesty and... streets and wicked tropical charms the embassies lying hideous yards where tourists know